into it. Tommy Brunette, get to it. So. I think there's too many people have been bothered about making a record to sell records rather than making music to sound great to rock out. But like when you have a sound in your head that you want to achieve, then you know that's great. I mean, and like the recording process for me can sometimes just you just miss the point. At the end of the day, you can't blame anybody apart from yourself if you haven't got that sound. And that's one of the things I'm coming around to. And that's why I've been recording again in my bedroom, like it was day one. Anybody who plays that main stage is part of the uh, establishment, really. You're, you're not the outsider anymore. You've been enveloped by the music business. You know, you're, you're in. You've been allowed the, uh, the stage. You're on the posters, you know, might be bottom of the bill, but you're on there. You're, there's, only, there's only eight bands above you that day. That's, that's a great slot. It's amazing, right? It's great. Hopefully there's going to be a few more people out here. But uh, nevertheless, still nice big stage. See lots of people running around. Sight. So, I mean, the band aren't on till... 12 o'clock now. Yeah. yeah, and then it's like a half hour set. Yeah. So I guess if we look to try and get the birds on by like 20 past 12 or something. Quarter past 12, yeah. yeah. You want to grab a cup of tea or something. That'd be nice. We'd yeah. all from. If you just come with me, I'll show, show you where everything is. Uh, I'd put your pass, sticky pass on. Cheers today, mate. Oh, that's what I'm yeah. Are you sure they're all going to make it home? 100% mate, unless somebody puts a lead shot in one of them. Um, can't you send them to Leeds and then we'll be... That's there. right, oh yeah. But then we've just been feeding them bacon so long. Yeah, no, no, mate, I'm never right. We're not right with that. Never mind. Better than making fag bucks, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, oh, you know. It's good, I'm looking forward to the pigeons. Highlight of the day, highlight of the festival. So the Towers are going to play Freebird. It's their encore. And we thought, wow, Freebird. Let's free some birds. Hi, right, mate. How are you doing, you alright? Yeah, good. good feeling you're under the oh, well, I've got on stage in an hour. You know. <laughs> now we're going to hang around. Snell's getting up with uh, with Franz Ferdinand tonight, so we've got to hang around to the end. So, who are you on tour with? Uh, Kaiser. Oh yeah. Well, well, it's not two. We're just doing these two festivals. All oh, right, okay. Well, we have a bunch of lads, aren't we? Yeah, down you one. <laughs> That was our very first bus driver, our first ever tour, when we were on a tour bus. And uh, it kicked us off the bus the second night in London. <coughs> we had 35 people on the tour bus. Fucking hate us. They're making a statement by playing the main stage by saying we want to be one of the big bands. We want to mix it with Guns N' Roses. You know, if we fail, we'll fail beautifully. We'll, f we'll fall flat on our faces. Fuck you, you know. Are we up for it? 
separate the men from the boys. This is it. This is it, mate. It was good, man. It's been a long time. I was wondering how many lo how many gigs we played to get here. Three years ago, we were in there going, this name is Towers of London. And now we're on the main stage. Feels good. Fucking have it today. Memories going through my head. This boy's fucking having it today, man. Yeah. Let's go. What do, you, what do you think about the band? Towers of London, great hair. Just I'm just, it's just my introduction. I said you, I used to have hair like that, it's great hair. You just shit. <laughs> she fucking hates them. If I'd been here this morning, I'd be able to tell you whether they were shit or not. It's a miracle. I was like, so do you see them all again? And he said, yeah, yeah. I was like, so how does it happen then? You know, how do they do it? He was like, it's the magnets in the earth. I was like, magnets in the earth? And he said, yeah, the magnets in the earth. Hi. 
down to London, um, a lot of pages to um, kind of take the piss, have big hair. It's pretty sick. I feel that vibe, I feel that vibe. What can I say? I think I'm important because they're kind of taking 80s rock back, you know, like all the greats. And I think that it's a good thing. I think it's good to have that kind of, you know, not caring too much about what you look like, kind of punk ethos back in music. I think Peaches seems like a nice enough girl, you know. Um, people seem to be giving a load of shit at the moment. I don't understand why. Um, well, I do understand why. Our old man's a legend and she ain't proved any reason why anyone should respect her. But I met her, I don't know, a while back at a place called, I think, Mickey Finns or something in Camden. She's really nice. You know, she's polite and a nice girl. I don't see why she's getting so much shit. She's wants to have She's only 17, man. She just wants to have fun. Leave her the fuck alone. Fuck's sake. Do you know what I mean? I think it's good. I like the YouTube shit. They be like, hi. I mean, I think it's kind of light-hearted. It's not really like they're not really that aggressive. It's just kind of part of the the act. Sick. Giving too much too soon, that young lady is. She's only young. She's getting excited about getting her face in the papers. And everyone's pretty much bored of her already. She should have played it more clever. Like our old man. He's a clever dude. One of the cleverest dudes. The peaches. You're cool. And I'm fucking wasted. He's dressing like someone from 20 years ago and, you know, doing this very sort of bubblegum version of a rebellion that was actually kicking against something then. Now it's just a retrospective. Her dad was in the Boomtown Rats and did all sorts of things and that's the world she's come from and, you know, her mum got into all sorts of trouble and the idea of those two together is almost too perfect, really. Where were you? When you I was like it? I'm hoping it was down the front like that. Give me a sweat. <laughs> I'm going to ask you about the download, is that right? Ask us whatever you yeah, want. Yeah, we're telling you. I want a good story as well. Exactly. We're going to pop ourselves on the uh, on the sofas and then pretty much we're okay, going to banter wow. and then you guys just fuck it. Play me three tracks, four tracks. Just play oh. me it, yeah? Stop yeah. taking the piss. I actually thought that was my one, but I'm probably going to be looking forward to it. Really? Interesting. So we're actually playing live here? Yeah, mate, there's loads of you about it. Air guitar? How easy is that? Place is okay, mate. Oh, you're right. One, two. Yeah, just go. Answer the question. One, two, and then we're out. Yeah. Richard, yeah. are we banter it? Yeah. Shall we banter? Right. Welcome to Nokia's Rock and Play first Q&A session. And I think we are in fine company, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! Oh! Come on, you quiet, yeah. All right. Hello. Who's got a question for the towers? Come yeah. on. Yeah. Your yeah. question is. Rev, are you drunk? Yes. <laughs> Next question. Where did the birds go? Where did the birds go? They got disorientated <laughs> and uh, they flew around for a little bit. And my mum just called me and said they're in my house. And I'm going to keep them all <laughs> fucking up. Toss me through that album. How did that go through? Right, any other questions? Hey, stop laughing,